Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the all new Kia Sportage and this is one of the most prettiest Kia cars I've ever seen and today we're doing a full in-depth review. So the Kia Sportage, what car is this and what type of segment it sits in? So the Kia Sportage is a mid-size SUV from Kia and the first generation was launched in 1993 and this is the newest and greatest model that they have right now the full new generation of the Kia Sportage and I'm going to show you what is new, what is good and what is the most coolest and new features on this car. So today we're going to show you the full Kia Sportage so let's start with the front fascia. So I'm re reviewing a Kia SUV, I should tell you guys the serial that the Kia SUV has. So the biggest and the first Kia SUV is the Kia Telluride, I did a review of that and then is the Kia Sorento, then is the Kia Sportage, then is the Kia Saltos, and then the Kia Stronic, and then the Kia Sonnet. I did a review of the Kia Sonnet too. So now I'm going to show you the front fascia of the car, so that's why I'm going to get inside and turn on the full lights. Put on the brake, start button. So this is with the daytime running lights, headlight, fog. Hazard. And this is for the high beam, high beam off, high beam, high beam off. So, now I'm going to come outside to show you the front fascia. So the width of this car is 74.43 inches. And from the last generation to this generation, the full headlight design is completely changed. Because Kia's new design language is much more nicer and much more, you know, from the future type design. So this is your daytime running lights that looks like a boomerang, like it's coming in your face. This is your hazards, these are your lights. This is your main light, that's your high beam. And if you go to the upper models of the car, you get more, you get full LED lights with your nice LED beams down here. And this is the starting model of the car for Bangladesh, so this car has these lights. But to be honest, I really like the new design language from Kia. This is your big grill. A lot of people complain about BMW grills. Just look at how big this grill is. It is fully in gloss black. And in the X line, that is the more topper grade than this, it has a completely different grill with a completely different bumper. So it has four sensors at the front. This is your number plate slot. Open here, open here. You can see the radiator down there. And because it's a turbocharged car, it needs ventilation. This is the new Kia font. So the new Kia logo, but it's just written Kia. That's pretty much it. Now, let's check out what is powering the Kia Sportage. So now I'm going to get inside to open the hood of the car. So for that, you have to do it from the driver's side. There's a button here. You just pull this and there it opens. And then you just come here and then you have your stand. There you put it. So the Kia Sportage's engine is very controversial in Bangladesh because a lot of people gave wrong information of the car. So I'm giving you the right information for this particular vehicle. So in Bangladesh, the Kia Sportage this generation gets a 1.6 liter GDI single turbo engine. So if you guys come a little closer, so this is your 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. There's your turbocharger right there. So it needs a lot of ventilation for that. This is your turbo intercooler that puts all that air down there. This is actually the air box, the intercooler is down there. And you have insulation here. And now let's talk about powers. 250 Newton meters of torque. This is the front wheel drive variant. And it is decent amount of power produced by this engine. It is more than enough for our Bangladesh roads and you can easily overtake anyone in the highways. So the misunderstanding everyone's getting in Bangladesh is a lot of people got to know that this particular vehicle is the 1.6 liter PHEV, but that is the wrong information in Bangladesh. This is a 1.6 liter GDI turbo. So now let's talk about the engine variants of the car. So you could get a 2 liter MPI, a 2 liter diesel, 1.6 liter GDI and 1.6 liter PHEV. So this is the engine that comes in Bangladesh and it is very refined and very powerful. You have your windshield wiper washer placement right here. So you could just quickly pour it and close. So now I'm going to close the hood because we are done. 
stand goes right there and then so that's pretty much it for the front fascia of the car now let's check out the side and there's another engine for this car that is the 2.5 liter mpi that's it for the front now let's go to the side profile so this car's length is 177.73 inches and this is more longer than the previous generation and 9 inch more longer than the Honda CRV that is the competitor of the car. So because we're talking about competitors, so the competitors of this car from Japan is the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4. And from Korea is the same company owner, Hyundai Tucson. That's why I'm gonna talk about that because Hyundai to Hyundai and Kia's owners are the same person, so one person, and that's why this car and the Tucson share a lot of parts together. So now let's show you the front wheel. I forgot about that. I got a little distracted. So the front wheels are 235 60R18s. You have 18 inch alloys and you have a full size spare wheel. So on the X line, you get type B wheels that are more uh, nicer to be honest, to, in my opinion, but these are not too bad. You have four piston brakes at the front and these are ventilated. And you have independent MacPherson coil springs at the front with your anti-roll bars at the front so it is really comfortable because i rode in this car at the back i didn't drive it yet so at the last kia uh saltos or the spodich used to get some uh normal you know plastic trims here that used to get whitened up but this time they have advanced and put it in black so it's more reliable so it doesn't go uh any white or if anything happens you can paint it up just a little bit of black paint and that's it the color of this car is beautiful that's why i matched it with it like i matched my watch with all my clothes all the time so in the mirror you have your hazard light and it has blind spot monitoring and it heats it and then it's automatic fold and out you have these chrome bars at the side that you can see all the way extend but on the x line these are blacked out so then the wheelbase of this car is 105.51 inches and the ground clearance of this car is 6.91 inches. That is good because this is a proper SUV. And because it doesn't look boring, they added some gloss black and chrome effect. But on the X line, the topper grade, you get this part in satin black. Rear wheels are same as the front because this is the front wheel drive variant. But if you want to get the all wheel drive, they can also bring that for you. And in the rear, you have your multi-link suspension with coil springs now fuel tank time if the car is unlocked just press here it opens so this car has a 54 liter fuel tank and now let's come to the cool features of the side profile that are really stunning first of all this treatment grabs a lot of attention this chrome treatment next is the rear panel the rear glass panel this is a real bump up with the design language of the car it looks more nicer and it gives you more visibility now let's check out the rear but before that you also have your roof rails up here so if you want to carry some stuff off like a bicycle or something you can do that too now let's check out the rear so the height of this car is 64.96 inches now i'm going to get inside turn on these rear lights for you guys i have to squeeze through and here i'm inside i'm going to open my specs or glasses whatever you call them car started so full light rear fog hazard and this is with the reverse and i'm gonna come outside Ugh. so in the new design language from kia the full rear the full car is a new generation so the rear is amazing to be honest these are full led lights that are just stunning it feels like there's lava inside this glass this is your brake light this is your hazard and where's the reverse the reverse light is actually in the center and this car gets a rear fog light so it's here and these are your reflectors and the towing hook is very flushed so the towing hook is right here so if you just press this this is the towing hook all right it's the ex version and the top line is the x line so in the x line you get a different bumper design that's pretty much it for the rear you have your number plate slot down here with two lights you have a reversing camera right here the new kia logo you have this sport stage i don't actually know how you pronounce because in uk some like kawa will say the sportage but it is actually sportage right here and you have this black treatment the rear glass is heated this is the upper spoiler with your high stop brake light you have a functional shark fin antenna for the radio now let's check out the practicality 
So for the practicality, there's a button here. If I just press that, I can open it. And on the X line, the boot is powerly assisted. So over here, you have 516 liters of storage. You have underfloor storage, but there is your full size spare wheel. Eats up a lot of space. Your tools are on this side. And you have a partial cover that you can, sorry, my bad. They're engaged to put anything here, or you can just close it and open this and store it somewhere. Over here, you have a 12 volt socket and you have your light for the back. And for more storage, you have two buttons here. So this, and there's another one on this side. So there, you could fold them. And now you have 1,751 liters of storage. That's a lot. And for closing the trunk, you have to just pull this and there. That's it for the exterior. Now let's get into the interior. So now let's get into the rear seat. So let's get up the 60-40 distribution seats and adjust it. And now let's get inside. So this is a five-seater Kia Sportage and seats are very comfy to be honest. Three people can sit here. You have Isofix anchor points too for a baby sit. And this is your center armrest with two cup holders. And you can easily, you know, relax in the back. If your driver drives, you can easily relax. You have some storage here, I guess, for your phone. You have two AC vents at the back that a lot of mid-size SUV don't get. And the windows do go down fully. And there we put that back up. And for door lights, we have one here and this car gets a full panoramic roof that opens the glass also opens it's not like a blurry thing that toyota has this <laughs> i don't want to make any controversy so yeah i'm just gonna blur that out and there it's really fast it just goes boom and yeah it's very comfy at the back the seat colors are also very nice to be honest and another thing on this car the seats, over the seats, you have a little bit of coating. Like in winter times, you know, the winter clothes have a little bit more fluffed up stuff. You also have these in the seats. So it's more comfortable than the normal, you know, seats that we get in our cars. Now I'm going to come on the door. Another cool feature of this car. I think, in my opinion, I'm not sure, but this car has the most reclinable chairs ever. Just look how much it reclines. Like I can easily just, you know, sleep and just go from here. So comfy. Now, the door. So this is your door handle, iconic design. You have this nice material behind it. This is gloss black, you have leather, and this is for the window opener. You have your grab handle here with red leather and red stitching. You have your storage here. On the X line, you get Harman Kardon. On this, you have the KS speakers. You have your bottle holder here. And the door fully covers down here. So when you come down your white trousers like mine don't cover, get dirty from the door. Now let's get into the front. Just look at this interior. It's so beautiful. So first let's start with the dash. Soft touch material used here. You have your black stitching with your black leather. You have your airbag right here. You have this nice looking AC vent design. You have AC vent here and another AC vent here. And you have a Twitter here too, but if you get the X line, you get Harman Kardon Twitters with extended Twitters on the car. And let's talk about glasses because I don't usually talk about these. So the Kia Sportage gets solar glass. So a lot of people are going to ask, what is solar glass? So normal glass, when the sun affects the light, it comes here, it bounces off or it gets inside. But solar glass absorbs the sun. So it, the car doesn't get, you know, warmed up when you leave it in the sun. So you don't have to, you know, full blast your AC like this. You can just put it on two and easily because the car is not going to get that hot. And this is also a nice design that you can see on the dashboard. You have your Twitter here too. Not Twitter, your offer actually. And now let's come to the seats. Seats are semi-bucket. You have six-way power adjustable for the passenger and eight-way power adjustable for the driver with lumbar support. Storage-wise, you have a little bit of storage here. That's pretty much it. And you have some storage here. So cup holders are very, you know, Kia that are 
sodium detailer, right? So you could put your drinks here, but if your drink is a little too small, you can just press this button so it hugs it. Same on the other side. This is a little smaller, that's a little bigger. And then for closing it, it gives you arrow. So which side are you gonna push it? There. And this car also gets heated seats for the both sides, front. Now here, this is for your parking cameras so because this car has the reversing camera. The reversing camera comes up and you can also control the brightness from here. And you can turn off parking sensors or turn them off. This is for the driving mode. So I'm gonna show you when I show you the cluster. This is for downhill assist. This is for auto hold. So what is auto hold? Let me show you. So auto hold, you have to put your seat belt on. So when you're in drive, you're sitting in traffic light, you know, boring. So you don't have to put your brake in so you could just leave your brake and the car is on drive my legs are off so you know in a traffic light you just stay here but when you have to go you could just press the gas and the car goes like this so that's a cool feature for this car I'm gonna turn on the parking brake why is it on sports mode that's why the throttle was more responsive here you have a phone holder and I forgot to show you the key so this is the key of the car you have Kia and you have your buttons here and you have emergency key too. You have a 12 volt and a USB and a USB-C type in the center. Now let's show you the infotainment and the climate control. So now I'm going to show you the climate control features. So I mistakenly press it here because in Japanese cars and uh, Mercedes's, all of the start buttons here, so I keep pressing here, but the start button's actually down here. So for showing that I have to get the car to here so that you can see the start button and just start stop. So the climate control features. This is a display. Okay, so for the climate control, quick thing from both sides, two zone climate control. You could con you can also sync them both. You can see the both climate AC on where you want the air. So I want it on my face. And this is for the wind speed. And then if you just press this button, completely change. This is your twinning knob, this is your volume knob. You have your shortcut buttons for the main infotainment. So home, phone, it's looking for phone right now. It's gonna go connect to my phone, 100%. Then radio, media, setup, then back to climate. Outside air not coming inside, rear windshield heater, front windshield heater, auto climate too. You have two AC vents here with this nice treatment and build quality. Amazing. Build quality is so good. You have your hazard button right here. And now let's show you the infotainment. So this car gets say 12.3 inch infotainment system right here. But if you get the X line, this is also digital. So I showed you this infotainment stuff before on the Telluride, but I'm gonna show it again because this is the only spotage. So you have your voice memo setting climate. So if you go on climate, you can also see it digitally. And then media, radio, favorites, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and phone. And then here you have your climate quick and you, are, you can see which phone is connected. And for the reversing camera, did I show the reversing camera? I think I did. So adaptive guidelines and you have your front and rear parking sensors. That's pretty much it for the infotainment actually. But if I show some stuff in the settings, vehicle, so you can control a lot of stuff like driver's assistant, like for, this is like, there's a car in front. So if I leave the brake, if I straight go, I'm going to hit this. I mean, if I just go here, it's going to automatically brake from the front and it has rear traffic alert. So when I'm reversing the car, if a car suddenly comes, it's going to brake by itself. So for that, the volume should be high. This is high. This is medium. This is low. So I'm going to put it on high. And this is for your parking safety. This car also has auto parking. So you could also see this. Then we have lights, so if we come here, if you lock the car, how many time, how many time do, does the blinker need to flash? Five, seven, three, you can also control that here. Headlight timeout, and time in whenever you want. Then the doors, if you press one, do all the, lo or all the door locks on one, like all your setting stuff are here. And it's very easy to use. I love this infotainment. It is a lot easier than before. And that's it. If we go up, this is your rear view mirror that is auto dimmed. 
And then you have two lights, these are touch sensitive. That's a nice thing. And then if you press this, this light also turns on. This, that's nice. And then I showed you the sunroof before, so I just open the cover. Then the front portion is big. Press again, front portion opens. And then that's the maximum. Now I'm going to close both of them, but not the cover. This one. And then. Very nice. It's a clean car. So here you have the steering wheel. So it's just steering wheel is four scopes. So one, two, and then another one here, another one here. And it has tilt, telescope. And it is manually adjustable. There. So however. However you want it, you can adjust it. And it has paddle shifters at the back. And you can actually shift. But where's the RPM? So you, if you guys see the lines here. So if I rev up the car. So if you rev up the car, when it goes all the way back, it's all the way redlining. But I don't, you know, like revving the car so much. On this side, you have your headlight controls. And your rear fog, front fog, and high beam and hazard. And on this side, you have your windshield wiper controls. Now, let's show you the instrument cluster. Foot on the brake, pressing the start button, and there, system check, and it fully turns on. So you could change the colors with the driving mode. So this is eco, normal, smart, and sport, and smart. I like the sport. But if you put it on sport, throttle response completely changed. Like I pressed it a little bit, it was like all the way going up. So this is your RPM so it shows, it's on 600 RPM right now. And on this side you have your speed and this is your ref counter that Kia did for their new cars. Engine temperature and this is for the fuel tank, so fuel gauge. And for the center you can control from here. So this is for your driving info. This is for when you have to refill again. And these are all your fuel economy stuff. You know? if I you could also turn on the volume from this side and turn on the volume from this side. So there's both side buttons. This is for setting the cruise control. And this is for controlling the screen. So it also has tire pressure monitor. And it shows you which gear you're in. And now how much fuel it has. It can go 151 kilometers. And if you put it on drive and get it to this other side, you can also use the paddle shifters to see the gear. That's pretty much it, to be honest. Now, let's show you the door of the so car. First of all, you have your AC vent here. Then you have this nice treatment. This is for traction control. This is for your electronic handbrake. You have your dead pedal, brake pedal, and your gas pedal under here. This is for opening the hood. You have eight-way adjustable power seats with lumbar support, two-way. These are your side uh, scratch plates. And now, let's go to the door. You have your door handle here with the same treatment and then you have your exterior mirror controls unlock and lock these are for your auto windows this is for locking it you have your grab handle here and this is a nice treatment you have some bottle holders a speaker and you have a reflector and it fully covers the side so your trousers doesn't get dirty so that's it so if you guys like the review make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and do make sure you hit follow buttons on my social media. I'm going to put it in the description box. You guys are going to ask about the price. I'm telling you guys, this KS Sport it says 51 lakhs for this package and about warranty, one lakh kilometers or three years, whichever comes first. So then now let's talk about me because I don't talk about myself in my own videos. So a lot of people ask about my Insta. So my Instagram is going to be in the description. Facebook is also going to be in the description, Facebook page, TikTok, whatever, Snapchat, everything is going to be in the description. And my previous Kia videos are going to be in the pop-out banner, so it pops up right now. Did you click it? If it didn't, still listen to me. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you need the Kia Sportage or Kia Saltos, you can contact with one and only authorized dealer of Kia, Magna Automobiles or Kia Bangladesh. I'm going to link their Facebook page at the description. Peace.